Good afternoon, everybody. It's your old pal, Cappy, here. And it's daylight savings time. So my sleep schedule is all messed up, and maybe yours is too. So I need a little bit of a kick. Today we got um, a monster energy drink here. And I thought it was time to cover these monster ultra whatevers. There's zero sugar, and I typically didn't cover them because I don't like zero sugar. Most of them things taste like bad, like fake sugar, sucralose. You should know if you've read the blog, you know how much I hate sucralose. And maybe in these videos I've kind of had that seep into, you know, knowledge. But I hate sucralose. I think it tastes awful. Splenda is the worst. But because I've been covering, you know, Bang, and I've been covering C4 and... G Fuel, I said, all right, let's give Monster a shot. Let's see what the big name is. Monster is one of the biggest names in energy drinks. So let's see if I can turn a blind eye to the sucralose taste. This one is called Ultra Fiesta. Fiesta, like the Ford Fiesta. But they're not making Ford Fiesta anymore because uh, Ford only wants to make pickup trucks and Mustangs. RIP economical cars. Uh... And it's cool. It's like, look at this. There's like a mariachi skeleton dude. He's like playing the guitar. Uh, you got one trying to bust a pinata open. What else we got? The Grim Reaper looking one. Oh, there's more guys. He's playing the trumpet. He's got a violin. They're dancing over there maybe. I don't know. But this is a grip. I don't get why you need grip on your can. It's so weird. They did it with those um, Mountain Dew... Gamer Fuels, the newer ones, not the original ones. But I don't know why. Why, why do I need grip on this? <laughs> oh, I can run with my monster. It's a great idea if you want to shake it up and <laughs> have it spew all over the place. Unless you open it, then it's going to... I don't know. I don't get why these have grip. Um, color of this can is awesome. I love this teal color. That's what caught my eye originally. I was like, oh, i got to cover this teal looking one. And it's called Fiesta. Come on, that's cool. So um, let's read the uh, let's read this little testimonial thing. It's kind of hard for you to see due to the lighting and you know how the can is. Sleep later, cause tonight we're going to a fiesta like no manana. Ultra fiesta celebrates the nights and that turn into mornings and the friends we call familia. Zero sugar ultra fiesta blends juicy mango flavor into the ultra we love. Finished off with a load of Monster Energy Blend. De nada. De nada. I didn't say thanks. So basically, I guess this is like Mango Loco, but zero sugar. That's what I'm getting from it. And hey, if it's Mango Loco, zero sugar, if they can mask that zero sugar flavor, I'm cool with it. I love Mango Loco. That's probably my favorite Monster Energy drink. Uh, let's take a look at our nutrition facts and ingredients. Uh, we have that warning. There's the warning right there. Don't drink this if you are a pregnant or nursing woman or under the age of 18 or too sensitive to caffeine. That's what it says. Let's see. 10 calories. Zero grams total fat. Serving size is one can. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. 370 milligrams of sodium, 6 grams of total carbohydrates, 0 sh grams of sugar, 0 added sugar, 2 grams of erythritol, there's that sugar alcohol that we know, 0 grams of protein, 250% of your daily niacin, to 40% of your vi vitamin B6, and four, 490 of your B12, and 400 of your B5 pantonic acid. Uh, 490. Yikes. <laughs> that's a lot. But that's how Monster gets their energy. B vitamins. So we, we I've always mentioned that. What gives it energy and stuff like that. So this one, B vitamins. Ingredients. Carbonated water, citric acid, erythriol, taurine, sodium citrate, natural flavors, Panax ginseng flavor. Not extract, just flavor. L-carnite, L-tartrate, caffeine, sorbic acid, not azorbic acid, just sorbic acid, sucralose, 
beta carotene for the color. Interesting. Um, benzoic acid, niacinamide, acylphane potassium, deep calcium pantotate, color added. How descriptive. <laughs> uh, inositol, pyridoxine hydrochloride, and cyanocobalamin. So, beta carotene. What is beta carotene? That is the stuff that makes carrots orange. So this is going to be an orange drink. Um, and there's also color added. So maybe it's not going to be like carrot orange, but like a darker orange. I don't know. So I don't know why they needed to add the color added if they already had beta carotene in this for the color. I don't know. We'll see in a second. Let me pour this for you. It's like more yellow. I see. I see. Okay. So this looks a lot like Mango Loco. I think it's like a spitting image. I think this is Mango Loco, but zero sugar. They just didn't call it zero sugar Mango Loco for whatever reason. Probably because it doesn't have the juice in it. Mm, so this is probably not going to taste as nice. Because Mango Loco has real mango puree in it, I think. It's been a while since I've actually looked at those ingredients. Smell? It smells like a vitamin drink, but like it's tropical. Like you got that nice little tropical scent on top. And then on the bottom, it's kind of got like a, um, like a medicine taste. Like you're gonna, it's like when you give your kid some medicine and he doesn't really want it because he kind of smells like... Oh, this doesn't smell like uh, Cocoa Puffs. That's what this smells like. Except for, you know, mango. Mm. Actually, it smells... It's not really appetizing. Like, that medicine smell is more predominant than I originally gave it credit for. Let's have a sip. So I, first I taste like a acidic citrus nature. That's the opening flavor with the uh, fizzy carbonated water. Then it kind of translates into this tropical flavor. Mango, yeah. I was like, hmm, this is almost like mango loco. It's starting to, you know, keep that same energy kind of thing. But unfortunately, it's just, it's sucralose tasting. That zero sugar, fake sugar taste. It takes over and it lingers. It has ruined my taste buds. So this is like bad mango loco. Like they make a bad, a bad um, version of it. <laughs> they don't put sugar in it. That's the problem. Uh, it's definitely missing that mango puree that gives that extra kick for the fruit flavor. Um, it's not that nice. If I really wanted to try a mango flavored energy drink. I've said it 15 times in this video already. Can't go wrong with Mango Loco. This, if you're hoping to not have sugar, maybe maybe it'll do the job for you, but I think it misses. I, mi I think it misses. This is not nearly as good as the original. Um, am I gonna have a fiesta with this? Nope. Uh, I'll drink the rest of this, but I'm not gonna be happy with it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it the Jacksonville Jaguars 2020 record out of red.